Hello everybody, I'm back. And guess who has more albums to open? Me, because I'm insane and I can't stop buying things. But I mean, I said, I think I said, was my last video? I think it was my last video or two videos ago, I don't even remember. I said that I was going to FYU this weekend to buy albums and that's what I did. Um, I got three, so I'll show you to them. I got, I got another version of Map of Soul 7 because I only have one of them. I think I have version four, the blue one. Um, and I swear to God, like all the Map of the Soul 7s are like sold out in my city. I Like this is the first time I've seen one in months. So I bought it because I needed it. Um, and then I got two the Japanese CDs because like you rarely ever see these. So when I do see them, I buy them. Um, so yeah, I have three to open and I'm going to do that right now because I want to. I put my laundry in the washer and so this is a reward. That, this is a reward for me. I'm going to open these albums. So we'll start with the Japanese ones because... Um, Da, 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 which one is that one? We'll start with this one, which is the uh, Fake Love Airplane Part 2 one. This is the album that's got the Fake Love remix. That is so good. If you have not listened to it, go listen to it. It's so good. It's the it's the Japanese version of Fake Love, but it's a remix that um, I think P-Dog produced. It's a fucking bop. It is a bop. I think this was the FYE the last time I was there and I didn't buy it because there's a crack in the front which I apparently I completely forgot about because when I saw this yesterday I was like oh my god I need to buy this and then grabbed it and then when I got home I was like oh there's a crack in the front but like whatever I mean it's a plastic case it's not like the end of the world or but yeah I'm excited for this to have this because I freaking love this remix and it also says on here that there's an Idol Stadium remix I love the stadium versions of all the songs they do. So, also excited about that. But yeah, this is what she looks at. like. She's cute. As you can see, a little crack, but like, whatever. But yeah, and then this is what the back is. And again, it's got the like, few track listings. It's also just pretty, but also the freaking Fake Love remix is so damn good. So, this is what she looks like inside. You got the little like, whatever, the insert thingy. And then the CD. She's cute. I think there's pictures like... There might be like a picture or two in this thing, we'll see. Oh, fancy. Nope, it's just, it tells you um, all the producers and lyrics and shit. Oh, the fans are cute. Cute, 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 cute. Let's stick this back in there. And then nothing behind the CD, right? I don't know how these work. Oh, cool. Yeah, that's this one. I'm excited to have this. I think I have, this is, I think I have another one of the Japanese CDs. I don't know which one I have, but I was excited when I saw this one that's still there. So, grabbed it. Snagged it. Um, and then this one um, has got Lights and Boy With Love on it. And Idol. Oh, and this one also comes with the DVD, which is, I think, why this one was more expensive than the other one. The, what does the DVD have? Uh, the making of the music video of Lights and then the making of the jacket photos. Exciting. So yeah, we'll open this one. Again, didn't bring scissors because why would I? I think that's just going to become my brand now is opening things without scissors. But also we have like one pair of scissors in this apartment and I never know where I put them. So it's easier to just survive without using scissors and make do. These CDs are always so hard to open because you have to get like your finger underneath the little like lip thing but i'm gonna get it because i'm stubborn so at this point i could go find scissors but now i don't want to oh come on i'm gonna get it like i said i'm stubborn at this point so there's no way that i'm gonna go get scissors and back out now <laughs> okay there goes that and the little paper flappy thingy but this is what the cover looks like. Less of a glare. Oh, no, there's still very much a glare, but whatever. You're propped up against a window, and I'm using a lantern for light. So, again, we're real professional here. And then this is what the back looks like. Cute. Oh, God. Oh, wait, there's two things. This is what the inside looks like. She's cute. She's cute. This top one is the CD. And anything fun in here? Nope. It just, again, opens up to give all the writing credits and things like that. So, the back. It's still very pretty. I like the sky blue feel. It's cute. It's cute. And then, oh god, let me not. 
Did it fall on there or is that going to fall off? Nope. Okay. And then that's the DVD. Oh, that's, that's the DVD. Do I own a DVD player? No. Oh, my hair. Do I own? Yeah. I uh, don't own a DVD player, so don't know how I'm going to watch this, but whatever. I own it now and I'm excited. So, whatever. Okay. On to the exciting part. Map Soul 7, which is one of my other favorite uh, albums because it's so good. It's just so good. Actually, one of the first BTS songs that I like really like got obsessed with when I became like when I really started listening to them back in August, uh, September um, was We Are Bulletproof the Eternal. That song, like I listened to that song so many times a day when I first started listening to them because it's just it's so beautiful. Um, but so that's why Map of Soul 7 is one of my favorite albums. But also, I mean, they're just like, all the songs on it are so fucking good. So, yeah. Let's open this. And then, actually, for Christmas, my boyfriend got me the deluxe version of B and Map of Soul 7. Um, because <laughs> anytime we were in Target, um, and we would walk by the music section, I would always, like, point out, like, Map of the Soul 7 there. Because I was like, mm, Map of the Soul 7, love that. <laughs> I was not, I was not slick in my hints. So he was like, yeah, obviously I was going to get you that because you kept pointing it out every single time you're on Target. True. I did. So. But yeah, so Map of Soul 7 was also one of the first albums I ever got. So it's just special. Okay. She's open. My, my trash pile over here. I'm just going to push that away. We'll deal with that later. But uh, she's so pretty. Oh, I love it. I also like the like texture of this box. I don't know what it is. It's just very smooth. I know that's a weird thing to talk about, but it's like, it's so smooth. Uh, okay. Isn't it like right when you open it, like the photo card's right there? I don't think there's any way for this to be a secret, so. Yeah, it's right there. Okay, it is, it's right on the top. There was, I guess I could have like not looked and just like stuck my hand in, but like whatever. Well, it's a secret to you, so. Um, this is what the back of the photo card, why am I covering it with man? That's what the back of the photo card looks like. Are you ready to see who it is? My friend Kalia is going to be upset <laughs> when I show her who I got. Although I like keep pulling this person. I always, I pull them so much. So ah, I got Jenny. Oh, look at him. So exciting. I have like, I think I have like five or six Jin photo cards. I have a lot. Him and Hobie are like my top two people that I pull all the time. Not that, oh, oh god, there he goes. Not that I'm mad about it, because this photo card's beautiful. But I'm always pulling shit. Oh, exciting. We will add him to the collection. Yay. Okay, um, him aside, I guess actually I'll show you, for those that don't know what Map of Soul 7 albums look like, whoop, that's what it looks like inside. You got the CD on the one side, and then all the stuff on the other side. So... Obviously, we pulled Jin, so he will go over. Actually, no, let me not put him back in the album because he's got to stay out because I got to put him in my little photo card binder thingy. That's not actually a binder. It's my boyfriend collects Pokemon cards. So sometimes when he gets the like mega pack, like boxes with mega packs, like they'll come with like some Pokemon, like these little like binder thing. Like these, it's not a binder because there's not like binder clips, but it's like this like small little holder you can put Pokemon cards in. So I use those at the moment for my photo cards. It works. I need to get an actual binder for it because I have so many now at this point. Like I need to get a proper space for them. But for now, we're using the Pokemon. And I think Namjoon would be proud of me. So you know what? I'm not mad about it. But okay, also comes with these little notes. Da, 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 da. And again, all these notes are in Korean, so I have no idea what any of it says. I could just, you know, I can go on Google. I'm sure you can go on Google and like figure it out, but I can't tell you what it says right now because I don't know. Let's put that over there. What is this? Is this about the Big Hit Audition? Yeah. The obligatory little piece of paper about Big Hit Audition does not matter. I'm going over there. Even if, like, there was a Big Hit Audition going on right now, I can't sing. Or not, well, I'm not even Korean, so that doesn't even matter. Yeah, so that, that that's irrelevant to me. Oh, the little, like... Weaver's cash card thing. I don't think, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get cash for this. Mm, if I can try, I'll put that over there. I doubt it. Um, this cute little card with all of them. Oh my God, so cute. Is there a way for me to like 
focus on them? Probably not. I don't know how this, I don't know how this camera works. Whatever. And then on the back, um, there are signatures. Cute. A little card with I have the twelve seven on it, the like drying, uncolored version. Beautiful. Da, da, da. The book with all the um songs, lyrics, and writing credits. So again, we will as if I'm a teacher teaching a class. We'll just turn some of the pages, different songs, and then again lyrics, and then who produced it. All of that fun stuff. I think all of that stuff on top of CD. I probably shouldn't do that so that I don't scratch it. Because, like, I do actually have a CD player, so, like, I can actually, like, physically listen to my albums. Oh, my God, they're so cute. The sticker sheet with all of them. Oh, I really should do something with all the stickers I have. Because, like, I have, some, like, almost all the albums come with stickers. And I just don't do anything with them. Honestly, all the stuff that comes in the albums, besides the photo card, I just put back in and it's just there just chilling i should like actually do something with the stuff that i get but yeah this is the sticker sheet and then okay we're just gonna flip that over da, da, da. and there's this thing that comes in a little sleeve it's got the seven on it da, da, da. and then these are some of the picture oh my god these are oh right dad this is the like the dark ones this is like the black swan themed one um, I don't know that any of this stuff is gonna, like, show up on camera, but we've got this one poster of all seven of them. You can kind of see it, but the seven is peeking through, but use your imagination. Again, I'm sure there's, like, a high-quality HD version of this on the internet somewhere, so you can find it there. Because you ain't gonna find it here. Um, okay. How do I want to do this successfully? No. Okay. Hey, bud. Here's them all looking at swans. Ugh. So fucking cool. There's some other. Oh, here's just. I guess I'll show you some, not all. But there's them looking cool as hell. There's one of Yoongi. Which was this? This was Tay and Jimin. Okay, let's get a different member. Okay. Okay, here's. Okay. Nam June. And then. Oh god, struggling. Nam June, Jin, and Hobie. Beautiful. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So now I need to find JK and Yungi. Uh, Yungi, I saw you in here. I know you're in here. There he is. Oh, there's the other two. Great. Ah! And then there is Yungi and JK. And then a big picture of Yungi. My favorite. Um, but these ones are cool. I like these a lot, actually. Actually, let me just show this picture just as a to um, ruin my friend Kayla's life. There's JK. That one is for you, girl. <laughs> um, these, yeah, I like these photos a lot. These are fucking beautiful. Oh, this is a fun, this is a fun album. So yeah, for anyone that hasn't seen version two of Map of Soul 7 album, because you think there's, there's four versions in total? I believe there's four versions in total. So, and so each version has like different pictures. Okay, now, here comes the fun part. I'm trying to get this back in the sleeve. Let's see if we can successfully do this. Probably not. Okay, come on, butter. We did it. Let me just slide back in there. You go back up top, stickers, lyrics, whatever that is. That, that. Oh, God. Almost just broke it, but we're fine. So yeah, that was this version two of Map of Soul Seven. What a treat! And obviously, another gin to add to my collection. This photo card is beautiful. <laughs> Exciting. But yeah, those were my three um, albums. Exciting stuff. Exciting stuff. I love albums. Like I said before, I need to get a bookshelf soon. I'm probably gonna order that. I got paid Friday, so I guess I could. Oh, but rent was due today, so my bank account took a hit because of that. I'll order a bookshelf. I should definitely probably order a bookshelf before, um, before the um, comeback. 
it's obviously I'll be getting however many version of the album there is for that I will be buying all of them and obviously the Sawuzu stuff made by BTS yeah I'm gonna need a bookshelf pretty soon I think so I'll probably buy that and then maybe I'll do like a video of me like organizing my bookshelf with all my stuff that could be fun we'll, we'll see I don't know but yeah this was just a quick little unboxing uh, my next one is definitely going to be me unboxing my RJ, who's finally about to, who's finally getting delivered. Probably by the time I post this, he will have been delivered. Thank goodness. <sighs> After his extended vacation in Ohio. Unnecessary. Like, I looked up, like, the city that, like, he was lost in. Now it's four hours from my house. Four hours from my house. And he was, he, it took him a, a week. He was in Ohio for a week. Four hours away, I could have just drove there and got him. Apparently he likes Ohio, so he wanted to stay for a little extra time. Annoying, but whatever. So yeah, my next video is definitely going to be unboxing my RJ. Um, and eh, you know what? I'm going to probably unbox this in the lab sweatpants because I have no idea when my sweatshirt's going to ship. And I don't feel like waiting anymore because I love sweatpants. So I want to wear them. But now that I know how to do like fancy editing, I have a little surprise in store for that one. So <laughs> that'll be fun. But yeah, um... This was my unboxing. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.